Hey, campus George, yeah, back in the man cave. Checking out a thing that just came in the mail. It's got a booklet with like 10,000 pages in it, and it's this big. How many instructions do you need? Just, but that's not why I'm here. The real reason I'm here, this guy. Yep, another one from my faded blue jean series from Rough Rider. I have the whole series. Woot! But I was going through them and realized that there's a couple I haven't shown you guys. And I really don't want to have to go through it when I put the whole series together and in a display case. It would be an eight hour video. This one I really like for a particular reason. Let's check it out. So this is it here, see that? You know, it has the, the denim, the faded blue jean McCarter handles. I love that. And of course the orange G10 liners in between the, uh, the brass liner and the scales. Very cool design. I love this. Has that RR on it, on the badge. I, I just like this. Now, the other thing I like is the size. It's not very big. And this was pointed out by a comment. Someone said that when you have a slip joint, this is a slip joint. You don't want a big knife. They get too big and bulky. And they don't work well as a slip joint. This, you can see, is a very cool size. And if you're wondering what it is, this is, yep, a Stockman. This one is called the J-Bar Stockman. Where that comes from, I'm not sure. And I tried to look it up and I couldn't find any info on it. I like the, the size of this. And of course, it, you know, just like all Stockmans, it has particular blades. Very particular blades. You can see them right there. <laughs> if you look closely and if you're thinking whittling, this is a great style of knife, traditional knife, for whittling. It's got everything you need. Three great knives to do all the whittling you want to. And like I said, it's a good size. So let's uh, just check it out a little bit more. Like I said, this is from my uh, faded blue jean uh, collection that I now own. I own them all. Woot. I want to put them in a display case. I was struggling with that and I got helped out by a friend. So stay tuned on that one. Uh, big saver because I was really in a dilemma on how I want to display these. And, yeah, there's, there's no room on the walls. <laughs> I've got all sorts of things on the walls. I don't know why I have them. Anyway, back to this guy. Like uh, the Rough Rider Faded Blue Jean Makata series. Very nice. You can see they're all very clean. Very nice. I just, I love the, the color combination with that orange and the blue, the faded denim. Great. Uh, just like about 99% of uh, uh, traditional folding knives out there in this kind of series, Rough Rider, everybody, uh, nickel silver pins and bolsters, they all have nickel silver. Uh, they have brass liners in them. And the steel, 440. Uh, I believe it's 440A. So that's pretty typical. You can see the one blade there, right? Yep. Sheep's foot, right? Nice blade, nice length, pretty close. You can see it has the match stripe nail neck and it has here the uh, false edge, the swedge there, which allows you to give a really nice point on the top here. Uh, comes to, you can see there how nicely that point comes through. Great whittling knife for your general work, your medium to heavy, it works really well when you whittle with them. A very good whittling blade. So that's the sheep's foot. What's the length of it? 
it's a boot. I'm Canadian today. <laughs> right there to there, two inches just over uh, right up to the Ricasso. And I uh, forgot to point out that it does have the, the big R on the bolsters and the double R on the, the badge. Um, you can see on the blades there, they show the double R and nothing on that side. So that's the sheep's foot, great blade. Uh, the other blade is this beastie, not my favorite, but really handy for whittling. <laughs> The reason I'm not a big fan of this for whittling is when you whittle, you want to be close. It's a long blade. So you tend to be far away from what you're whittling. And it's especially with a slip joint, a little iffy. But the nice thing is you can do long sweeping cuts with it, get rid of a lot of wood and material. And you can get a really nice point on this. It does have the swedge on there, of course to give you that point and a nice big uh, match strike nail neck uh, has the RR on it and this one actually says 440 razor sharp steel which all the rough riders say that on there and then it gives you the model number and it's made in China good guess if you didn't know that the length the work I'm talking about working lengths here two and a half inches so from the tip right up to your choil Two and a half inches then you have the ricasso and it's a it's a, a long blade not ideal but this really pointy edge here can allow you to get into some small delicate areas and then of course the 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 third blade they have here is this guy here which is really small it surprised me and it's a spay blade it has that you know the the point in the middle almost like it's a uh spear point but just the bottom edge is sharp it does have a swedge to give you that little point there the big nail neck with the match strike it's almost a pen blade the length of it I, when i first looked at it i thought oh and they put a pen blade on but no it says spay and uh, the length of the spay is one and five eighths so it's a, a nice short little blade you can get right in there and they're handy for whittling. It's a great blade. So the choices they made here on these blades are awesome. It makes for a great little EDC in your pocket. You're wandering around and there it is, a piece of wood. And you go, ha, oh, I'd like to just play with that piece of wood. I've never done that. <laughs> and you can pull out your uh, stockman here and you've got all the blades you need to just sit down and whittle and have a good relaxing day whittling a piece of wood great great style knife the the stockman that's one of the reasons i i like them it's a good size it's not big you can see it's just right for me uh, i really like these very cool closed it is look at that four inches exactly the bolster the bolster the Rough Rider Faded Blue Jeans Bar J Stockman. You can see it right there. Very nice. I, I, <laughs> I like the style of knife and I really like the scales on this. That's why I collected this series. And I've yet to be disappointed with one that I picked up in the series. You can see it right so, there. There it is. It's very cool. Very cool knife. I really like this size. Just like the other one, good size, not too big. You're not going to take up a lot of room in your pocket. It's not going to bother you that much, like it bothers me. <laughs> How much did I pay for this guy? Surprisingly, not that much. That much, actually. Can't beat it. Once again, these Rough Riders and Marbles, these guys are producing this type of knife, pretty good quality. Well, I would say good quality. Never had a problem with these for that price. You can't beat it. And, you know, like I said, Rough Rider has hundreds, all different series. You know, you can get whatever you want from them in all sorts of series. You know, they've got the Buckshot, they've got 
the bone, the white bone, these guys, G10, you name it, they got it all with the different styles in them. Not all the series have all the styles. This is a pretty big series from them. I forget how many they are. I think there's like 14, 15 in the series. Pretty big. But a great series. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> <laughs> you will be safe out there. Especially with these guys. You flip this out of your pocket and you start whittling away. Don't be using your leg as a brace. Remember, always. You whittling a piece of wood with a big, long, sharp and shiny like this on it, you whittling away. If you're not sure if you're being safe, all you have to do is take the wood away and tell me where that blade's going to go if the, if the wood wasn't there. And if it's going to hit you or somebody else, you're doing that wrong. Just say. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back. Got some stuff going on. Like I said, I had this thing that I was looking up and reading this whole giant encyclopedia instruction manual while the battery charges. It's actually a pretty cool thing. So small. I was shocked. Looks well made. But we'll get to that. Actually, that reminds me. This actually came in the mail. Not to the cottage, but to my P.O. box. Yep, I have a P.O. box. It's in the description below. You want to send me a note or something like that? Want to share something with me? That's the way to do it. Send it to the P.O. box. If you send me a knife, you want me to have a look at it and you want it back, no problem. Send it to me. Make sure you put your return address on it. We'll have a look at it. Share it with everybody. And I'll ship it right back to you. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. See you again soon. Bye.